Hello everyone and welcome. I'm doing a two-part uh, series today on inventory add-ons. Um, there are really three types of add-ons in the World of Warcraft that I think are absolutely essential. One is uh, an action bar add-on, and I've already talked about Domino's, which is the one I use in a different video. Uh, the second one is an auction add-on, uh, and the third one, and perhaps the most important of all, is a bag add-on. My question to you, if you're playing a World, uh, World of Warcraft and don't have a bag add-on installed is, why do you love excruciating torture? Seriously, it's just like the worst thing possible. Now, if you're new to World of Warcraft, you don't understand this yet, and I'm going to demonstrate for you. I'm going to come and talk to Fur Mist Runner. I'm going to bring up my bags. She wants to sell me food. Looking at my bags, do I have food? You know what? I have no idea. I mean, looking at these bags, it's really hard to find food. What about gray items? What about things that I need to sell to Fur Mist Runner here? Do I have them? I don't know. I don't know what this is. What is that? Oh, it's an Ace of Portals. Well, it's not gray. I evidently don't want to sell her that. Um, I just would need to start going through item after item after item trying to figure out, you know, what I can sell to her. If I want to find potions, i got to find them in this mess. I'm dual spec I'm spec in Discipline, which is what I'm in right now. What if I want to switch to my Shadow spec? I have a lot of armor in here, or at least some, that is specifically for my Shadow spec. Do I really want to go searching for it every time I change specs? Uh, no. The answer is no, I don't. Okay? Also, if I go to the auction house, I'm going to show you the mess that is the auction house. This could be changing because Blizzard is revamping the auction, but I don't know the details on that. And I'm selling something right now, but I want to sell this stack of frost weave cloth. Um, it's telling me that I can sell it to Fur Mist Runner for 2 gold and 50 silver. If I put it up here in the auction... Uh, Blizzard is suggesting that I put a starting price of 3 gold 75 silver and I get to try and choose my own buyout. How do I find out if that's a good price? Well, in the Blizzard auction, I'd have to, every time I want to post an item, I'd have to do a search for Frostweave Cloth in this case, or whatever the item is, and then I'd have to look and see, okay, here's the first stack of 20. Someone took Blizzard's suggestion at 3 gold 75 silver and they put a buyout price of 5 gold. If I scan through all the auctions, I can see that at the top end, someone's trying to sell it for 440 gold. And then there's a lot of things in between. Now, I don't know what a good price is, though, by looking at this. Uh, for example, should I be buying it at 5 gold? I see a lot of people are selling it for 10 and 11 gold. Um, so maybe I should buy it 5 gold and try and resell it for more, but I really don't know anything about what the price should be. I don't know if I should try and undercut this guy and sell mine for 4 gold 80 silver or what. And it's just, it's just an obnoxious thing to try and figure all this out and do searches every time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape out of here. I'm going to log out. <clears throat> and I'm going to turn on my add-ons. First, Auction Light is my auction add-on. Second, Bag Ends is my bag add-on. The other add-ons are for the next part of this video. And I'm going to go back into the world. So Auction Light and Bag Ends. And if I bring up my bags, you're not going to see a change. It's not because the add-on isn't working. It's just because it's not configured. Uh, forward slash baggins space waterfall. Silly command, I think. I'm not sure why it's like that, but that's what it is. What you want to do is right here on the first page is check this box that says override default bags. Now, when I bring my bags up, look at that. Some really nice bags. They're categorized out, okay? I have uh, equipment, here's my armor, here's my weapons, I have quest items, here's my food. I do have food. I don't need for Mist Runner's, uh, or whatever, yeah, Mist Runner's food. I've got my mats, my gathered, everything's categorized really nicely, um, making it so much easier to figure out what's where. I never have to spend any time organizing my bags or searching for stuff, all right? If you'll notice, this is a problem for me on the basic settings. Uh, here's a stack of seven adder's tongue in gathered. Here's a stack of seven adder's tongue in mats. Um, and that's the same stack, and that's confusing for me. So I change that. I go back into Baggins Waterfall, and I go to Items, and down here on the drop down where it says Hide Duplicate Items, it's disabled. I change it to Global, <clears throat> and now. My stack of Adder's Tongue defaults to mats, and it's not anywhere else. In fact, that whole gathered thing kind of went away. Um, then I'm going to go back to Baggins. 
One of the reasons why I like Baggins over other bag add-ons is really superficial. It's purely cosmetic. If I go back up to the main thing and I go to bag skin and I change this to blizzard, now I've got bags that look remarkably like the blizzard bags. I like that. I can shrink these and I can move them around a bit and make them open up just like blizzard bags do. It's also a little bit messed up because of my video settings, primarily. Um, you'll notice also it shows me slots. I've got four empty slots in my bags. That's all I have left available to me. Now, when I, if I wanted to buy something from Fur Mist Runner, I'd just drag it to this empty thing, and then it would automatically categorize it properly, and then it would show me that I have three empty slots. Okay. Also, you'll notice I have a lot of trash items here that I can sell to Fur to free up some inventory. Okay. Um, now, one thing I want to show you uh, is you can go from Baggins Waterfall into this button that's Bag Category Config. But another kind of cool thing about the Blizzard skin is I can I can click on this little circle here, this little ring, and bring this up and go straight into Bag Category Config from here. Now, if you bring this up and you don't have these subcategories, just log out and log back in because you need these. Now, what you have is you have bags and you have categories. The bags are showing you your primary stuff. So for instance, here's my equipment bag. This represents that equipment bag, okay? See how it has armor and weapons? If I open it up under equipment, you'll see armor and weapons. So this represents the bag, okay? Categories represents the items, the item assignments, all right? Now, I want to add a category of shadow because I want to separate out things that are specifically for my shadow set I want to separate those out from armor and stuff so I can see really easily what I can sell and what I need to reserve for my shadow set. So I'm going to go to categories, which is where we assign items to, and I'm going to make this shadow. Just create a new one. That's all I'm going to do. Click on categories, create a new one. I don't need to add rules because we're going to assign things as we go. All right. Now if I look under categories, there's shadow. All right. Now, what I can do now is I can assign items, and you do that by Alt, right click, and then you add to category, and I'm adding it to shadow. But it doesn't do anything yet, because I haven't put shadow in this bag. So now I need to go to my equipment bag, and I'm going to, see I have armor and weapons, I'm going to put new section, and we're going to go shadow. Now I have a new section assigned. Now I need to go, and this is going to change its name eventually to Shadow, but right now it still says New. I'm just going to click on that. This is my Shadow section that goes in my equipment bag, all right? And I'm going to add a category to this, and that's going to be Shadow. Now the only reason this is coming up on this category list is because I already added it here, okay? So now the Shadow category is under the Shadow section of my equipment bag. Now you'll notice my boot still hasn't moved. There's a reason for that. Um, there's this section priority. Everything is defaulted to one, but for whatever reason, armor is still the most important priority in Baggins' mind. So I need to just raise priority here, because armor is one. I want shadow to be more important. So because, now I could remove the boot from armor, but I don't really want to do that. So what I'll do is I'll just raise this priority, and now suddenly the boot drops down because it recognizes that it, even though it's assigned to both armor and shadow, the most important category is shadow, and it's just dropped to that bag space that I created. And now when I alt click, alt right click on a new item, add it to category, shadow, it drops down, it, it'll drop down immediately. Oh, I'm sorry, I just excluded. I wanted to add. <laughs> add to shadow, drop down immediately. Alt right click on that. Add to, shadow, it drops down. That's how that works. All right, very quickly with the auction. If I go to my auction here, and I go to sell, and I bring my 20 frost weave, it automatically does that search for me. So that, as you can see, oh, what's going on here? Now, one thing I want to do is I want to change to per stack price right here. And now you can see I've got the stacks. I show the prices here so I know what they cost. I don't have to do those searches. Whatever I put into here, if I change and put my dream shard in there, uh, it's going to show me all the dream shard prices. It's also going to automatically undercut. So I know that if I sell these two dream shards to, for four gold, 30 silver, that's going to be undercutting the other prices here. Um, you can go to auction light buy. You can do full scans 
And what that'll do is it'll save in the database. So now if you look at, if I hover over Frostweave, it's now telling me the auction price that I can sell it for. You'll see that I can't do that for Crystallized Earth because I haven't searched for it, but I can do it for uh, the Dream Shard because I have searched for it. It's going to show me auction price. You can do a full auction scan here so that if you now get a green drop somewhere and you've already scanned it, you're going to get to see the price. The more times you do the full scan, the better chance you have of finding legitimate prices for that. And so that's the importance of an auction add-on. I hope this has been helpful. See you in the next part of this video. Have a great day.